everyone, it's Ellie Lee and welcome to Fresh Pick Mondays. Today we're talking about a veteran rapper who just released a new album and which pop star just confirmed that a new album is coming next year. Find out next right here on Fresh Pick Mondays. My name is Ellie Lee and welcome to Fresh Pick Mondays. Today our lucky panelists get to take home a gift bag filled with a variety of organic items from O Organics. Thank you so much O Organics. Now before we go on I have to of course introduce my best buddies Jim Shear, a former VH1 host. You're killing in the game. He's a veteran. If you're a host and you need to know how to be a host, study his videos. Okay Jim everybody, can we give it up? Can we give it up? She's a writer here. She's an iHeart Radio editor. She is everything that is pretty and amazing. Nicole Mastro Giannis, everybody. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, you know, let's just get right into it. Shall we talk about Eminem's new album, Revival? Wow, He's yeah. back. He's, He's back. back. <laughs> there are some bangers on this album. He's got Beyonce on the album, Ed Sheeran's on the album. Yes. What are you? Pink's on the Pink's album. On the edge. Yeah, Ed Sheeran. And it all makes sense. And you like it? I do like it. Okay. It's only been out for a few days yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. There's a, a lot to digest, because mm -hmm. I think there's 18 or 19 yeah, songs of, on the album. A lot of songs. So I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm glad he's back in the game. Yes. Um, any thoughts on, uh, on the album? I want to say that I'm like a little bit blown away by some of the songs on here. This album is deeply personal. If you listen to a lot of the lyrics, yeah. he, there's one song that's like letters to his daughter Haley. In another, the, last, the very last song, he talks about his overdose and being on the brink of death. Mm. And he's talking to his mom and mm -hmm. his dad and his daughters and possibly missing out on milestones, like walking his daughter down the aisle. And it was heartbreaking. I like was on the verge of tears oh my myself God. listening to this. And then there are songs where, you know, he kind of humanizes himself, like River, the one with Ed Sheeran. He yeah. talks mm -hmm. about, you know, maybe, you know, I'm not perfect. I, I've cheated. I've lied. And, you yeah. know, I really appreciate that hearing, you know, from an artist like that. Now, that song with Beyonce, Walk on Water, right? He talks a lot about, like, everyone's just watching him for, like, his next move, right? So his next album. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, you guys have all these expectations for me, and then when I release it, you just, like, basically crap on me if it's not what you want. Because everybody wants, like, the old Eminem, right? Mm -hmm. What do you say to those people out there that are like that? That are always like, oh, you weren't like your last album. You weren't like your last song. Like, shouldn't we be open to the revolution of Eminem? I think I'm guilty of that, too. Oh, you are? No, we, I'm, like, talking about Jim. We, no, we always want our artists sure. to be like they are in their heyday. Whether it's a musical performer or an actor mm. or an athlete, we want them at their best. Right. And do you think this could be Eminem's no, new it, best? No, I don't think it's his best. Oh, you don't but, think it's his best? But okay. he's, he's still in the game and he's still doing his thing. Yeah. What's and you, he's still coming strong. Yeah. What is the most prolific Eminem song for the both of you? Ever? Ever. I love Lose Yourself. Lose Ooh, Yourself, yeah. yes. And, um... Love the way you lie. Love the way you lie. And also, in, in, you know, at the end of Walk on Water, he goes, yo, I wrote Stan. That's right. <laughs> so he doubts himself, but yeah. then he's like, hey, I'm the guy who wrote that. Exactly. I get it. But I think also, like, as art an artist gets older yeah. and experiences a lot more and matures, you know, think about where Eminem has come from yeah. to where he is now. Yeah. Um, yeah, his music's going to sound a little different. Yeah. And I think that as a fan, you have to, you know, kind of, Take a step back and understand yes. that too. Be open, guys. Be, Be open. open. All right, let's. Oh, oh, guys, let us know what you guys think on Twitter at iHeartRadio, hashtag Fresh Pick Mondays, right? Mm -hmm. And let us know what you guys think about Revival, okay? Uh, the next, ooh, okay, new album, G Easy, The Beautiful and Damned. Uh, Nicole, I already see you smiling. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to say about this album? I like G Easy. Mm -hmm. um, I really love the Halsey song, Him and I. Him and it's like I. a little mm -hmm. funny yes. slide. That, yeah. And I think they're so cute together. I I when, when did they become an item? Because wasn't Halsey it going was out with year. Machine Gun Kelly? Was she? Uh, he, was I, going, he was going out with Lana Del Rey and then started dating Halsey. He what? Wait, Machine Gun Kelly? No. g, -Eazy. g -Eazy. So did Machine Gun Kelly ever date Halsey? I don't, I didn't, I don't know about that. I and I know oh. about all Maybe I'm mixing up my relationships. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you are, okay. you are. No, so maybe it, it was always yeah, yeah. G-Eazy and Halsey. Yes, yes, but yes. But they got okay. together this year, and they're so cute together, I they're think. I think they complement each other very well. And actually, g -Eazy last night posted a really cool picture now just talking about Eminem. He was wearing an Eminem t-shirt, and I think he wrote something like, Gotta Respect the Goat, the Greatest of All Time. Um, so, and they both released their albums same on the same day. I thought that, that was really cute. So that cute. being said, uh -huh. 
What do you think of him releasing the album on the same day that Eminem releases his? Hmm. Well, that takes balls. That it does take balls. balls, but it does take balls. I mean, just look at what happened the day that Taylor Swift released an album. No one released an exactly. album right. except for me. I think Walk the Moon released it out, but like, it's hard, it's hard to. Release an album. What's he saying though? When he's releasing an album on the same day as Eminem, and then putting up a, 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 a you know a photo of being like Eminem, a goat. But it's like, well, he released it this. If he was the greatest ever, maybe you'd wait wait <laughs> yeah. a week until you release your new but album. But also, what does Eminem think about G Eazy? Is what I would like to know. I would like to. I'm curious to know about that too. Is G Eazy even on Eminem's radar? <laughs> Great question, That's Jim. a great question. Jim's always asking the great questions. All right, <laughs> we got it. We got to move on. Let us know what you guys think about GE's new album uh, on Twitter at iHeartRadio. Hashtag, guys, Fresh, Fresh Pig, Pig Mondays. Mondays. Mondays with an S. Thank you, S. Jim. All right, new album, Luke Bryan, What Makes You Country. <laughs> um, people love Luke Bryan in the country world. I have since I've been to iHeartRadio, I have realized the country world is so massive and so popular. Of course, and everybody loves country. It's so insane to me. So Luke Bryan's a huge star in it. Are what are people mm -hmm. saying about this album? Do you think they're, they're loving it? I think this is his transitional album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I did a, a, quick, a short interview with him over email, and he said that uh, this album. There's something for everyone on this album, Amazing. and there is. There's yeah. like some really country sounding songs, mm -hmm. like the title track. There are some R&B sounding songs. Um, there's even a song with like a little hint of like synth in there. Oh. Um, there's a uh, there, there's a hilarious song called uh, I think it's called Drinking Again, and literally it's like it's kind of like the chicken fry song. It's like the sun's out, so we're drinking again. Yeah. I'm wearing flip flops, so we're drinking again. Yeah. Like it's just a, like a fun song, like. Good Liquor feeling. and country music always go together. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I think he gets pegged as one of those bro country he artists. Does. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I think he's slowly getting away from that. Yes. Yes. All right. Luke Bryan, we're here for it. I love Luke. Okay, it's da -da 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 -da. it's already time for the fresh pick of the week. We chose this thing because it is so hot, it is so fresh that we think it should be on your radar. And guys, Selena Gomez confirms her next album. She literally said, she goes, she says about this album, there is no might, there is an album. I think it's fair to say that people know the year that I've had. She's had a crazy year. Mm -hmm. And I poured my heart into my music and I wanted it to be fresh. It really wasn't a, really about charts for me or numbers. It was more just about what I could do creatively, creatively. for my music. Okay, so uh, has Selena Gomez shown that she is serious about her music career. Absolutely. Interesting. Definitely. Okay. Especially okay. over the last few years. Oh, yeah. 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 You think so? you When think she's not releasing an album, it seems like she's releasing singles. She is. And when she's not releasing albums and singles, she's, she's making, touring. Or she's making Woody Allen films. Like she yes. just wrapped a Woody Allen film. We're like, hello? Or she's producing Netflix shows. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what's, the, what's the show called? 13 the, Reasons Why, which she just wrapped season two on. And it was so, a huge success. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, I don't know anyone who didn't watch it. And can we just also talk about the fact that, like, she literally has 131 million followers. Taylor Swift has 104. Like, I just, when I think about this, I think about, like, how is Selena Gomez literally this huge? Like, she's bigger than Kim. She's bigger than Taylor. She's bigger than Beyonce on Instagram. It's crazy. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 part of it is I think she's a little bit more open yeah. um, and transparent mm. than maybe a Taylor, Taylor or Beyonce. Or Beyonce. Um, Beyonce is tr transparent when she wants to be, sure. which is um, a pretty interesting feat for a celebrity these yeah. days. But um, you know, she's she's she was very vocal about her kidney transplant, yeah. and she's mm -hmm. very transparent about her health issues. Mm -hmm. And she divulges that um, she'll go and sh on social media and she'll say, "Listen, guys, I know I've been you know in my for a while. Yeah. What's been going on?" Yeah. And you know, she she's she's like that. So I think her fans appreciate that. Yeah. Because um, you want to know everything's okay with them. Of as course. A fan. Now, Jim, I have a question for you. Yes. When you see a lot of like these young actor girls trans transition mm -hmm. into music, and like you know, because they have a lot of fame and popularity, mm -hmm. and they do the music thing, is how do you feel about towards those people? Like, to me, yes. You have to prove it. Sure. So put out an album, that's fine. Tour, prove it, but show me that you're in it to win it. Mm. And when she put out "Same Old Love," yeah, that was the moment where I'm like, okay, I get it now. You get it. Now. I love that. You whole get my album. you get my co-sign now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Even if she may not be the most talented singer in the world, right? Just prove that you want to do it. Because okay. a lot of actors and actresses, they'll put out an album and that's it. Yeah. 
and they just want to taste it. Yeah. But I think she wants to be in the game. Yeah. Just like Ariana Grande. Yes. She was an actress, but you can tell that she wants to do this for life. Absolutely. Okay. Well, All right. I love Selena's last album, also called Revival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I cannot wait to hear this. All right, Selena, we're here for it. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us on Fresh Pick Mondays. Uh, make sure to tweet us at iHeartRadio. Hashtag, guys, Fresh Pick Mondays. Mondays. Thank you for on the Mondays. You guys were there. Um, my name is Ellie Wee. Jim, Nicole, thank you so much for Bye. being here. Happy holidays, everybody. Until then, we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> for more, search Fresh Pick Mondays in the iHeartRadio app or on iHeartRadio.com, your number one choice for new music discovery.